Hello everybody, my name is Gary Armstrong. I'm the president of ARE Dry Sump Systems. We started the company back in 1974 building racing engines and pretty quickly decided that a lot of the dry sumps that were out there available could be improved and without getting deeply into that it led into a company that eight years later that's all we were doing and ever since that's all we have been manufacturing is dry sump systems. We design every product from the ground up, start at the basic, literally, drawing table concept. I like to do that because we can go full scale and I can think about the product and the, the end results and everything full scale, get it done. And then Nick here puts it into CAD format for us, however we need it, all the way up into 3D CAD, stereolithography, or CFD is necessary. So that's just a basic overview of how we start things out and that'll help you understand a little bit better as we get into actually showing you the different line of products that we make. Okay, we talked briefly about the design and uh, CAD work that we do in the engineering to get our products going. I thought I would talk about the actual end product now a little bit. This particular unit is off of a Ford ZTEC and this part starts from raw casting after the drawing board. We do all the tooling to make the, the, the patterns and the tooling to produce the castings out of aerospace alloy, heat treated to T6 castings on all of our products. At that point they go into the CNC machine. This particular pan goes into fourth axis machining, which means it rotates so that we can catch various surfaces to do the fittings, rotate to do the oil pump pickup, and then we come in and we do the surface for the dry sump, uh, for the block surface. This is put all O-ring machined to put the gasket back into it. It's a flexible O-ring type gasket. And then we also stand it on end and we do this particular one with a chassis mount on it. And Basically, all of the series of pans that we make are done in similar ways, each to suit its own application. Moving forward in our line of dry sump oil pans, this particular unit here is for the Porsche 944. Again, all aircraft alloy, T6, CNC machine casting. And same features, we have turbo drains on this because it's required. And same features we use on all of our dry sumps of the built-in screen filters, which are removable in and out. It's a great feature to have. Also make this particular unit right here is for the Evo 8 and 9, and we also make an Evo 10 for the Mitsubishi. Turbo drain, same type of uh, fittings for in and out. We also have the availability for putting your scavenge outlets on either side of the engine. We make four different versions for the BMW, four cylinder and six cylinder. Same type of features with the windage trays and the alloy and CNC machined, built in screen fittings. Okay, we make three different dry sump pans for Honda. This particular one here is for the K, Honda K engine. And here we have a fairly special one we do for the S2000 with the dry sump pump is integrally mounted to the dry sump pan and uh, that's a very popular system that we do for the Honda. We're also doing the Formula 4 dry sumps and some of the Indy lights for actually for Honda Corporation HPD. This here is for Nissan. We make seven different versions for Nissan. This is the V6 the VQ and VG, the old uh, inline six and four cylinder L series and Honda B, very popular dry sumps that we do. This is gonna be an ongoing series of videos that we're gonna do and get better at as we go along, hopefully. But keep in mind, you can go to our website at www.drysump.com and see all of the products. We have CAD drawings for all of our products, uh, usually listed either under technical drawings or under each of the products so you can see all the dimensions and whatnot. 